I kind of want to catch one, and then I'll mess with the mouse. Yep. Because I know that once I tie on the mouse, I'm not going to catch anything. Welcome to another episode of Hook, Line, and Paddle. I'm your host, Ben Duchaney, the web editor of Kayak Angler Magazine. This episode is going to be a little bit different. Instead of, you know, like the big giant fish that you're used to seeing. <laughs> this episode is going to be more about, um, like this. But you know what? That's okay. These brook trout that I'm going to be going for up in the north woods of Maine are, you know, they're stunningly beautiful whether they're wild or native, they are, they are absolutely stunning. So right as you're clicking this video, you are probably wondering, what is Tenkara? So Tenkara is the uh, Japanese style of fly fishing that has only a rod, a line, and a fly. So as you can see, there's no reel and there's no guides. I knew I was gonna have trouble because I knew I was not gonna be able to haul and I was gonna have to rely on just technique alone. And, uh, it got interesting pretty fast. As soon as I pulled into the Fox Carlton sporting camps up in Phillips, Maine, I knew that I was in fly fishing and camping and pretty much fishing heaven. This place was awesome. As soon as I dropped off my bags, I jumped into John's canoe and we went out into his private pond. In the private pond that we own here, we can control uh, the pond. Uh, there are no licenses required to fish our pond and we have uh, both natural and stocked uh, brook trout and rainbow trout. There wasn't very much going on that night in terms of fishing, so we called it a night. The bass fisherman in me can't help but cast a structure. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it looks too fishy. So the next morning I'm rigging up, getting ready for Dan and I to go fishing this pond. Dan shows up, we drag the kayaks down to the pond, and we go fishing. First thing in the morning, it's still really cold out because it's early spring, and we're starting to see fish rise. As soon as that sun hits the lake, they've turned on. It'd be nice to hook a big fish to really see the bend in the rods. Also, because it'd Big be fish. nice. <laughs> <laughs> we could see fish rising left and right. We just could not get them to hit no matter what we did. It seemed like we missed, you know, there was that one tiny opportunity, that one brief window in the early morning, the second that sun hit the water. After that, it was done. So we hop in my truck, drive along the Sandy River, and head up into a tributary creek of the Sandy. So Dan and I just pulled down this ATV tip trail, and we're gonna hit a tributary of the Sandy River for some brook trout. It, this looks like classic Maine brook trout tenkara fishing right here. It's classic pocket water technical fishing. Um, it looks like the water is moving pretty fast and pretty high, so we'll have to see how it goes. But um, definitely with tenkara, we're able to pick certain spots and um, really get to those pockets where we know the fish are. That whole edge line. It's definitely getting faster and it's way colder. Yeah. Probably gonna get both in it. All about the angle. The ferry across. Oh, that got deep. Now it's really hot. We're fishing like high noon, and we're just not seeing a single fish. We can see every riffle, every eddy, every pool, and we're not seeing a single sign of life. So we spent a couple hours wading up and down this creek, hopping from rock to rock, and then we hightail it. We we just start driving around. We visit creek after creek. So right now Dan is scrambling across some rocks. There's a really nice pool at the end of this tail out, and we're thinking that there some, might be some nice fish here. So here's a little advice. If you leave your kayaks sitting on the dock or tethered to the dock like we did, and go fish somewhere else, make sure that you have your paddle secured. I had my favorite fishing paddle sitting on the paddle holder of my kayak, and the wind must have came up knocked my kayak up against the dock and popped that paddle right out of the paddle holder. Because when we went to go fishing, we didn't have a paddle. I started walking this way around the pond, 
And Dan started paddling this way in his kayak, looking for my paddle. Eventually, Dan just stopped looking and was fishing, which is okay, I can't blame him. But I walked that entire thing for like half an hour looking for my paddle. Something black and shiny was right up against shore, and I knew it was my paddle. I ran to that thing like it was a long lost love. Once I had my paddle back, hopped in the kayak, started looking for rising fish. It was like every time the sun was out, we couldn't hook up. Once the sun went down just a little bit more, and it got a little bit darker, that's when we finally hooked up again. And you know what? I can't help myself. I threw on a mouse. So I know that once I tie on the mouse, I'm not going to catch anything. Unless it's like ginormous. Which would? Be, which would be awesome, but unlikely. <laughs> the next morning as I'm rigging up, I get a text from Dan saying that his wife and his baby is sick. So that he wasn't going to be joining me that morning. But you know what? That's fine. If your wife and kid are sick, you stay home, you don't go fishing, you, you know, you help them. I'm looking up and I'm seeing a big storm system roll in. And I figure I only have about an hour, maybe, of fishing before that hits me. But you know what? Based on the patterns of these fish hitting really early in the morning and never again until very late at night, that's kind of okay. I'll make a few more casts. First thing, I hook up again. As soon as that sun hit the water, fish started hitting. Ah, nice little rainbow. Finally, the wind picked up, all of the other fish stopped rising, and I just I pulled the plug. If you're looking for a simple way to get into fishing or fly fishing, then look at Tenkar USA. Tenkar USA has a lot of different rods that would probably fit your fishery and your style of fishing. If you're looking for your own brook trout adventure up in the north woods of Maine, give Dan Pierce of Maine Tenkar a guy to call or Fox Carlton Pond Sporting Camps. I'm Ben Duchenne, the web editor of Kayak Angler Magazine and the host of Hook, Line, and Paddle. I'm hoping you paddle forever, fish longer. Should I hold the rod? Is that sure. Better? Sure. Yeah, cool. Do you not want to say it? Well, I mean, no, you can say it. It's okay. <laughs> is it a tributary of the Santa River? Or no? Yeah, it is. Okay, so yeah. that's all I'll say. What times I hear Ben say, uh, I gotta go get my line. It flew off the end. <laughs> Don't trip it. I just noticed there's a screw coming out of there, Ben. Don't trip on that. Don't stub your toe on and fall yeah. down. You can cut some of this out, right? <laughs> okay, good. Oh, I saw you. It's the money cast right there. Mm -hmm. There you see it right there.